so I am trying with everything inside of me. <laughs> and I'm just gonna be real with y'all today, man. I'm discouraged. Um, I guess I'm just tired of being this happy go person all the time on YouTube, you know, and I'm legit going through struggling in terms of where I am right now. And I don't want this video to be completely negative, you know, I don't want it to be just complaining. Nobody wanna watch nobody complain all however long this video is. You know, so I'm praying that I can find some some positivity out of this, but I guess I'm just looking at the now instead of having faith in what could be. But where I am right now is nowhere near where I thought I would be in life. And I kind of feel like I failed myself. And now that I have this responsibility as a mother and a wife, me trying to make something out of my life for myself is selfish. So now I feel like I'm stuck in sacrifice. This is not where I thought I would be. And I'm not saying that it's not a good place. You know, I still believe that this is where God wants me. I still feel empowered in my purpose. It's just not what I want. But I know it's where I need to be. It's a hard understanding to, to grasp. I have it, it's just being comfortable in it. So, I'm gonna just keep doing what I feel led to do by God and have faith and trust that even though this is not this is not where I want to be that he's going to take me and elevate me and place the vision that he's given me years and years ago in my actual eyesight And I'm not saying what I'm about to say to discount all the moms and wives that do this with excellence and grace and look like super women. But I can't help but feel unnoticed. I can't help but feel like with all the women in the world and I was one of them all the women in the world that are being boss babes and being super women and doing everything out and about all the time and I'm home practicing ABCs and I know it sounds selfish I know it sounds selfish I know it's selfish 
so when I decided to be a wife and a mom, my life was no longer mine. And I understand that, but I can't help but want to be selfish from time to time and just feel like I matter. Yes, you matter. You're a mom. You're developing the life of your child. Yes, you matter. You're creating a home for your family. But for women who are here, they know what I'm talking about. It's difficult to feel like you're making an impact in a world where it looks so easy to make an impact these days. I'm praying that my transparency in this encourages you and lets you know that you're not the only one that feels like that. And that and I, I find it difficult to believe, but, you know, if no one else sees us, God sees us. If nobody else sees us, God does. And he knows what's in our hearts because he put the desires of our hearts there. He knows why we're made. And even if it looks like you're going to be making arts and crafts for the rest of your life. <laughs> and I've only been in it a week. Even if it looks like you're making arts and crafts for the rest of your life. God is cultivating your purpose. God is cultivating your destiny. You just got to be patient. Christian. You just gotta be patient in in what he's doing and rest in it and find joy because that's my problem I can't I'm finding difficulty in finding joy yes I love spending time with my daughter yes I love everything that's going on yes I love 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 I love this time you know I love the opportunity to move freely I love all of it but It's still hard to find joy when you're home day in, day out. and Especially me coming from where I was. I was, I was out in the hustle and bustle of it every day. I was out in rush hour traffic every morning. And if, if I was not put in this position, I would not be able to genuinely thank you mom stay at home mom that's teaching and loving and sacrificing even if you don't entirely or completely know what you're doing with the rest of your life yes you know your purpose yes you know you're called for you know the mission to mother and wife but you have your own purposes, you have your own desires, and you have your own callings, you have your own things you love, and it looks like those things don't matter anymore. They do. And maybe God is just cleaning the selfishness out of you so that when you become completely selfless, he'll give you what you want. Okay, Jesus. I knew that was going to happen. I just want to encourage you and share with you that, you know, you're not the only one that's going through it. And I'm here with you. I know, I know now how it feels to kind of feel like you're unnoticed and feel like you're just making sandwiches all day. And I, I highlighted on it when I was talking about redefining my purpose. But today it's just been really hitting me and just this entire week because this week has been hard. We don't have, I don't have everything I feel is necessary to start homeschooling. And so I'm making do and it looks, to me, it looks a mess. But Cadence, she can't tell the difference. She didn't, she didn't paint it. She didn't learn colors. She has her Bible verse memorized for the week and it's just. It's going well, but it's just different for me. It's not what I'm used to. 
and now I'm, I'm sitting in the emotions that I assume a, a lot of other women are feeling when they're at home every day with kids. You know, especially in the world we live in now, you see all these young, thin, fashionable women out here doing it, making money, you know, and I don't want to play the comparison game, but it's, it's difficult to not when you're sitting at home in your pajamas and a scarf. <laughs> Watching a kid run around. No, you looking at girls in Louboutins and briefcases. Like, oh yeah, I saw that meeting. That's not, that's not my desire. I don't want to be, I don't think I have a desire to be in the corporate world anymore. It's just, you know, you have your own desires. And uh, I think it's hard to believe that you'll be able to have them. Because they were placed there for a reason, you know. But... I digress. I guess I just wanted to get on here and talk to y'all because I said I was going to be doing that more often and I just wanted to talk to y'all and tell y'all how I felt, man. And I hope it encourages somebody. I don't know what it's going to do. But if I am called to do this for the mother and wife, y'all got to see how, I'm, how the mother and wife feels, man. And I think I'm thinking too much into it. Until next time, I love you guys, and I will be praying for you guys. I hope you guys pray for me as well. And we'll do this together. I will see you next time. Super signing out.